Hello guys, in this video, let's understand API mock response. So API mock response, it is used when backend is not available or backend is yet to be developed. But frontend wants to consume API to continue their development work. Now API mock response, if it's been configured, then it cancels the normal pipeline execution and it returns mock response to the caller. We can apply API mock response either at global level or product level or API level or at operation level as well. So guys, we are in Azure portal and this is our API management that is our first APIM. And if you see, we have configured this API, our test API and under that we have this operation that is with that is weather slash get weather data. Let me actually maximize this. And if we test this operation, so let's go down and let's say send and we get the weather data. So as of now, we are getting weather data because this backend API again weather slash get weather data. This backend API is been available, but let's say this backend API is not available and our front-end app it wants to consume or it wants to call this api in order to continue their development work so for this we can return mocked response and now let's see how to do it so let's click on design let's click on our operation let's click on this front-end let's go down guys can you see these responses so let's click on it and basically here we will add response so let's say add response now let's go down and now here let's select 200 okay and again on the right hand side let's go down and here we will space and here we will add the representation so that means whatever mocked response we add under this representation this mock response will be returned and status will be returned as 200 ok so here let's select this application json and here let's click on this sample and now as a mock response i want to return this simple straightforward json you see it has just one object and that one object has just two properties that is date and temperature okay so let's say save and let's close this now is we want to do one more change so can you see this inbound processing and policies so here let's go down and let's say add policy and here let's click on mock response and see we can see the response which we have just added so basically we are configured so basically from here we are configuring this mock response policy so first we added the mock response and now here we are enabling that mock response so let's say save and basically that's it and now let's test our operation again and guys first thing can you see this it says mocking is enabled right and now to test it let's say send and now let's go down and see first we got response 200 okay and we have got this mocked response so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening